so I'm gonna try this once again. Uh, I set up a date. I asked the admins if we could do this live. I am hoping that you can see me or hear. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, put you up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna get started. Okay, so guys, the first thing that um, I started to work on, I'm gonna put my gloves on, uh, is my re uh, resin, my epoxy. And we always wanna put our gloves on because All right, so I'm going to, I've got an echo over here. I got to figure out how to turn the volume off on my laptop. So, because I keep hearing myself, repeat myself. There we go. All right, so hopefully now um, we can hear each other. If I figure out what's going wrong, I'll let you know and it'll be okay. All right, so let me get my epoxy. All right, guys. So the epoxy that I use is made by um, Little Lee and Rose. It's a really good epoxy, but it's a really, really thick epoxy. And down here where I'm working in my craft room, it is uh, kind of cool down here. So I set of my epoxy in warm water for uh, about 10 minutes before I get ready to use it. Most epoxies, um, either you measure them one to one or two to one or three to one, her epoxy is measured by weight. So that's why you see me with this, this cup right here is because it is measured by weight. So I'm going to measure it and we're getting, we're getting started. We're just going to do step by step. Um, so if you have your epoxy, you can take it out, start getting yours together. Oh, I can't believe I did that. See, that's what happens when you try to talk and do something at the same time. Okay, let's cut that off. Let's cut it back on. It's got to get to zero. I've got to hit tear because it measures the weight of the cup. Okay. Got to hit tear again and put my epoxy in. This is slow. I'm just going to do it. Okay. Now, it only takes a little bit of epoxy to do the... first coat, which is what we're going to do. But I'm going to make a little bit more because I always make a little bit more because I'm always doing more than one thing. Okay. So that was my part A. Now I'm going to hit tear. I'm going to put in my part B. I can do this because I'm measuring. I'm trying to concentrate right now, guys, so. Okay, so I've got that in there. Now I'm going to put mine, I have a, um, an automatic stirrer. This is what it looks like right here. 
I'm going to put that in there and because I have so much in here I am going to set it on 10 minutes and let it let it start stirring by itself while that's getting ready I'm gonna start getting my other stuff together and get that ready now if you're doing yours by hand and you're doing it in a cup what you want to do is you want to use a stirrer like this Yay, finally somebody is here. I can see your comments. Okay, I'm hoping that you can see me now. All right, so, um, I've got my epoxy mixing in my epoxy mixer. If you are mixing your epoxy by hand, you can use either a popsicle stick, you can use um, a stirrer like this, and if you wanna stir it, you wanna stir it very, very, very slow. Very slow. You only need a little bit of epoxy to cover what we are going to part that we're going to do tonight because we are going to just put a drip coat on, a little bit of drip. We do not want a lot of epoxy on there because when you put a lot of epoxy on and you're gonna put um, glitter over top of it, if you put too much epoxy on, it sucks up the glitter and it's gonna give the glitter a really, really dull look. So um, we're just gonna talk for a few minutes while my epoxy is stirring. Now, I'm going to tell you why. The reason I don't use a popsicle stick, but you can, is because a, um, the wooden sticks tend to put air bubbles in your epoxy. And so you have to stir it really, really, really slow. And I don't have patience for that. I don't have patience to, to stir it that slow. So we're just going to let this go. Now I'm going to show you, um, let's talk about our tumbler. Okay, let's talk about our tumbler. And uh, let's see. Can you All right, I just asked the question if you could hear me because I want to make sure that you can hear me. Okay, couldn't see the stir. Okay, this right here. This is the stir right here. Uh, it automatically does it. It has a little pin in there. It's almost like a cement mixer. It goes around and around. Oh, great! You can hear me. Okay, yay! Um, I, I get I get excited, guys. Um, so, as I was telling you, I'm really not a professional. I hope somebody is uh, working along with me. Is anybody working along with me tonight? Or, or are you just watching? So, hopefully, you know, <laughs> we will get better with this. I'm a little nervous. So, as this stirs, we've got about six more minutes. If you're stirring it by hand, you want to stir your epoxy until it gets clear. And if you haven't put as much as I have in there, it'll probably take you about three minutes of stir stirring very slowly and very clearly. The glitter that I'm going to use tonight is uh, by Glitter Chimp. I'm going to use Avalanche, which is white, or, and I'm going to use Boomer, which is a red. Now, if you followed along the instructions that I gave you to set up to be ready to work tonight, um, I gave in, I gave instructions to prepare your tumbler. Um, this is a 30 ounce tumbler. And what I did was I sprayed it with white Rust-Oleum paint. I sprayed it white. I let that dry. Then I went back and I sprayed it with red. 
and I let that dry. I taped off the bottom because I gave you a list of things you could use. I taped off the bottom with electrical tape. I'm just bringing everybody up to, st up to speed. Taped off the bottom with electrical tape so that my spray paint would not go inside. And I put it in, um, this is going to go on my turner right here. Okay. So I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Let's see. Does anybody have any questions so far? <sighs> okay. So we've got about four more minutes. Um, so I've got... Uh, my gloves on. Ooh, that one. We're gonna, to, we're gonna have to change this one. Um, and when I start working, actually working with the epoxy guys, normally I would wear a mask, which I have over here, because epoxy can be. Um, it can. You can have an allergic reaction to it. And this is not, <clears throat> excuse me, not a process that you can do all in one night. It's not a quick process. It's a process that you cannot, you can't really rush it. But I am going to turn my fan on, my fans on. I've got both windows open down here in my, in my workshop um, so that I can get good ventilation. Okay, you know what? Give me a second. I'll go get the paint and let you see what it looks like. Okay. This is... Uh, Rust-Oleum Satin I normally try to use uh, a satin or a flat um, only because I get better results with that if I can't find that in the color that I want I will use a gloss okay now this is the white this from Walmart is $3.96 which is the cheapest place I've found to buy it this is the white. I found this in black and white at Walmart, guys, and it's 96 cents. So when I sprayed it on my cup, I, I couldn't tell a difference. And this is flat. This is a flat white. So we're still um, just trying to get our epoxy going we got about a minute and 44 seconds left with this epoxy that I'm using it leaves very few bubbles and that is a good thing it it, it does not have a lot of bubbles in it all right so I'm gonna turn this around this is my I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna kind of turn it that way this is my homemade turner um, I made this one myself. It works really well for me. I have a four cup turner right here. Let me see, let me let you see if you can see that. Uh, yeah, see it right there? I have a four cup turner right there that I made. Um, it, But I find that I like using the, um, I like using this one cup turner the best because I can move it. If I wanna take it with me to go someplace and do it someplace else, I can. It didn't take me long to make these. I made, I've got three of them that I made. I made them in about 45 minutes a piece. Um, so, let's see. Okay, we've got about 29 seconds left. Now, if your epoxy has air bubbles, if you let it sit and rest for just a few minutes, it um, a lot of the air bubbles will go away. I have basically three resins that I use. 
it's okay it's all right this is the epoxy i'm trying to uh read guys so if I, I get a little distracted i'm sorry i'm trying to read and answer your questions okay this is the epoxy that i'm using tonight this is by little lee and rose um it's a pouring epoxy she has part a and part b guys this epoxy uh it took me a little while to get used to using this it is a has a beautiful beautiful shine and after we finish with the part we're going to do tonight because tonight's part is not going to be very long after we finish with the part we're going to do tonight i'm going to show you um a a tumbler that i put last night that i put this on it looks like glass uh okay so this is the one that i'm using tonight but i use there there are three that i use and i'll show them to you really quickly The other one that I use is KS Resin. Now, this is not what they come in. These are, they come in big bottles. And the big bottles are too hard for me to lift up and pour. So I bought these um, mustard and ketchup dispensers at the dollar store. They came in uh, four in a pack for a dollar. And I filled them up and I put the lettering on it, um, A and B, so I can tell which one is which? This one is A is the resin, B is the hardener. This I use also. This also has a, a good working time. It has UV resin in it, which means you can use it. Uh, it'll block some of the light and it won't yellow. Well, all, all epoxy is yellow, but they won't yellow as fast. It'll be a long time before they yellow. The other resin that I use is and this is what I started using. And this is what I would say, if you want to practice, this is Envirotex Light. I get this from Michaels. It's a cheaper resin. They say that it will uh, yellow. I haven't had anything to yellow on me yet, but in order to keep it from yellowing, I take a little bit, just a tap um, on the tip of a toothpick of uh, blue food coloring or sometimes blue dye, mix it in. And that is supposed to uh, keep it from yellowing as quickly. This is cheaper because I can get it from Michaels with a coupon. Um, and if you want to play and you don't know if you want to use it, you know, yet or not, I hope you can see that. Um, if you don't, if you don't want to know, if you want to make this a full time craft for you, yet or not, then that, I would go with that and play with it just to see if you like it. Okay. Let's see. All right. So I think that our epoxy is ready. Can you guys see that? Now, it does have a few bubbles in it. So I'm going to just sit it down for a second. And I'm going to get my baby wipes ready. It, it, it's really a good thing to have baby wipes. They clean everything okay and I am going to let me see if I can turn this around so you can see it so right now I am cleaning off this little thing because there's a lot of resin on here the epoxy on here and uh, epoxy is expensive so I try not to try not to waste too much of it and I try to clean it all off of this. Now, if I did not clean this all off and I let it dry on here, it would, um, I'd have to try to get it off tomorrow with, um, acetone, pure acetone. And you can get that from Walmart also. I'm going to just clean that off with my baby wipe. Put it back in there. All right, let's get to the good stuff, guys. All right, so now here's my cup that I have sprayed with. Okay, I am looking. I don't think you guys, can you guys see that? Can you guys see this? Okay. 
because I'm looking, I'm looking at my phone and I can see it in my phone, but I'm also got my, there we go. I've also got my laptop up, so I'm trying to make sure that when I'm looking at my laptop that uh, you, you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. Okay, so now like I was saying, we're going to put epoxy on this. We do not want to put a lot of epoxy on this. We want a thin, thin, thin coat. Under this, these came from the dollar store. It is uh, a cutting mat. It's clear. You can put paper, you can put anything you want on there, but I use these because I can use them over and over again. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. Now, as you can see right here, I got to level it out so it'll be straight on there. You always want your cup to be level on your turner. If you don't have your cup level on your turner, it will have a butt cup. That means um, if it's not level, wherever it's not level, all of your epoxy is going to go there and it's going to stay right there on that spot. So, there we go. That's good and level. Now, I use my hand. You can also, there's a lot of people that use um, this little thing right here. I got it from the dollar store. It is a makeup brush. The epoxy does not dry on here. If it does dry, all you got to do is pop it off and it'll come right off. The next day so we're gonna get started I am just going to use a little bit of epoxy for right now the reason I like to do this with my hand guys is because I can feel I can feel where I have epoxy and where I don't don't try to chase your epoxy because if you've got it on the turner it will come back around Sometimes I do this and I don't put it on the turner. I just hold it with my hand. You can feel it. You can feel where the epoxy is because your hand will just slide, slide right over it. You can feel where the epoxy is not because your rubber glove uh, will stick. And we're doing a very thin, thin coat on this. This is not a big coat because um, we don't want our glitter to... Now, the one thing I will say about this, this is a thicker epoxy, so it, it takes some used to. The Little Lee and Rose takes some getting used to, but guys, I'm telling you, once you get used to it, it is beautiful. It leaves a beautiful glass-like look. And you have a work time with this. I think you have about a 45-minute work time with this. Now I can feel as I'm doing this, I want you to see something. As I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going to the lip of my cup and I'm coming up with my finger. That's because I don't want the epoxy to get in the inside of my cup. I spray painted the two colors. The reason, I could have just spray painted it white, but the reason I spray painted the two colors is when I go to put my glitter on, um, I won't have to do two coats. Now, I am really kind of pressing down on this now, getting this glitter, all, getting this epoxy all over my cup. See, I've got a spot right here that I didn't hit. I'm lifting my hand up so that the epoxy does not go down in the cup. I'm kind of like drawing it off like this. I don't want the epoxy to go down in the cup. So I'm picking it up with my hand. I try to use a lot of things from the dollar store as much as I can because the epoxy and glitter is expensive too. Did you sand it first? Yes. Um, if you read the instructions that I give in our uh, 
in our feed, how I started my cup was we got the cup, I lightly sanded it. After I lightly sanded it, I washed it. I washed it clean using Dawn, um, Dawn dishwashing detergent. You can use any one you want, but Dawn dishwashing detergent, deter detergent um, repels oils. And you don't want the oils from your hand to get on your cup because when the oils from your hand get on your cup, they are very, very hard to, um, it's very hard. You can get fish eyes, which means they look like little dimples or holes in your, on your cup. So I sanded it first. Then after I sanded it, I washed it. I let it dry completely. Let it dry completely. Then I took it outside and I spray painted the whole cup white. And I put those instructions for you right on. Um, I put those instructions for you right in the feed. Okay. So we about got this on here. Now we just got to do the bottom. You don't want to forget your bottom. So I'm just going to take a little bit, put it on my finger. and rub it on the bottom of my cup. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna stop it from turning for a minute and I'm going to uh, take it off the turn up just for a second. Take it off for the turner just for a second. Oh, crap. Hold on. My phone is saying low battery. I forgot to plug it in. I put the plug right here. So I'm cleaning my hands real quick. With a baby wipe. You want plenty of those. Let me plug it in real quick. There we go. There. Okay. So I'm going to take this off just for a second. And I am going to um, take my hands. See this? There's some extra right there. I'm going to get that extra off. Because I don't want a lot of epoxy on here. And you can tell where you, you just want a little covering amount. at this point and you want to make sure that you got everything covered now I am by no ways an expert at this guys um, I have only been doing cups for about a year I've only been doing tumblers for about a year um, I have sold quite a few in that year they've come out really really nice and here lately I've been making a lot of the um, Black Lives Matters tumblers. They seem to be selling really, really well. Okay, I think we've got it all covered now. Ooh, what is that on there? Ooh, we might have a problem with that. That looks like something from the baby wipe. Okay. Okay, so let me get my glitter and we will proceed to get this glittered. Alrighty. Alright guys, so this is just wax paper that I am putting under here. And I'm putting it under here so it will catch any glitter that we put on here. All right, 
to, the first one I'm going to put on is the red. I'm going to put on the boomer. Now, this, um, just going to sprinkle it on. Let me turn it this way because it is not catching. All right, there we go. And this cup is for actually, I am making this cup for someone. And it is a young lady who is a Delta. This is the color that she told me she wanted. Um, so I'm just putting it on right here. I'm doing the, the bottom first. And if you can see right here is where my white and my red meet. Let's see, I have a question. If you wanted your tumbler a different color like yellow and blue, how would you accomplish that? Well, you would paint it the same way. You could paint whatever part you wanted yellow and part whatever part you wanted blue. The same way we are doing this right here. Now, I'm turning this by hand right now. So, I'm going to take it off. And knock that right there. And then I'm going to put some on the bottom. We want to make sure we got it good and covered. Now, see this right here? This is where it's going up into the white. So I'm going to come up a little bit. Not all the way up. And I'm going to um, hold it down like this because I don't want to go up in that white. Okay. All right. Give me just one second. Let's put my, our glitter back in. Oops. Put our glitter back in our cup. Ooh, shit. Missed it. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, I can't see because I'm, I've got this not where I normally work with it, so I'm going to have to get that up. <laughs> I have put glitter all over my working area. Okay? I'm not, I normally am sitting down when I do this, so I normally um, don't waste glitter anywhere, but I'll just have to get that up in a few minutes. All right, so now I am going to put the top back on. And the reason I'm putting the top back on is because it has a shaker here. See where this is up here? I just want a little bit up there around that edge. So I'm holding this way up. I'm holding this way up. So I only get a little bit going up in that red. This wasn't quite as red as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit redder than this. This is more burgundy, but maybe that's... I'll have to see how close it comes to the Delta Colors, and if it doesn't, I guess I'll, I might have to do another one to get it closer to the Delta Colors than, than this. Okay, let's see. I have a question. If you, okay, I answered that. If you wanted your colors to be um, yellow and blue, you would just spray paint it yellow and blue. All right, so. Put that back in here. All right, now we're gonna work with the white for a second. Now I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna hold it down like this because, you know what, let me get another. I'm gonna hold it down like this because I don't want the white to go into and get on the red right now. So I'm holding it down like this. And I am going to start at the bottom and put my white on there.
Can you see? I hope you can see that, guys. Okay, I'm gonna continue to put my white on there. Now, I am holding it up like this because I want the two to kind of mix. If you hold it down close, you put more on there. The higher you hold it up, because I want to get that little mixed area in there. Now I'm holding it up this way and sprinkling it down that way so that um, the white doesn't get up here, okay? Now I'm gonna take my red, and I did let my white get down there a little bit. I'm gonna take my red and go back down in there with the red. So let me put this back in here for one second. Let me take the white and put it back in my, ah, we did get a little bit of the red off of the cup, but keep that from getting down in here. this over here out of the way all right so now I'm gonna take and put this back on here I'm gonna close my white up and got it on my fingers now I just want to take a little bit so the whole tumble so the whole tumbler yellow first, then let it dry, then blue halfway. Yeah, that's what I would do. Um, or you don't even have to spray the whole tumbler yellow. You can just spray from say here to here yellow, and then here to here blue. Because you want this to shade in right in here. So now I'm gonna take this and I'll hold it up a little bit higher because I want a little bit more of the red to come up into the white. The higher you hold it, the higher you hold it, the more you can get that, that shading effect. Because it's only going to come out a little bit at a time. You don't want to put it right down there because if you put it right down there, it's going to come out. Um, it's going to come out and you're going to get a lot probably where you don't want it. So I'm holding it up. I'm holding it up, see from here to here, I'm holding it up about six inches from the tumbler, from the actual tumbler. Now what you can do, what some people do when they get into this part right here where they want it to come down just a little bit, is they take and mix the red and the white together. They mix the red and the white together and now I'm just gonna let it kind of fall down a little bit. I'm tapping it, letting it fall down. And you can see where you want a little bit more and where you don't. You know how we are, we never leave good enough alone. We always like are finagling with it. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you the reason I like to use the epoxy method to put on my uh, glitter is because you actually use less glitter. If I had used, um, if I had used, oh, what is the name of that other stuff that you paint on? Uh, Mod Podge, duh, sorry. If I had used Mod Podge, I'd have to paint on the Mod Podge, let it dry, then go over it again because one coating is never enough when you're doing Mod Podge. It, it just, even if you paint it under it, it is never enough, all right? So I'm, I want a little bit more white in this, just a tap. So I'm gonna go back up here again and just go back a little bit more with the white.
and I just wanted to blend just a little bit more. And having that red color under there helped a lot too because you don't see the silver with that red color being under there. You don't see any of the silver from, you don't see any of the silver from the cup. It all went right in there. See, that didn't take us any time at all. All right, so our next step, guys, is going to be put this on the tumbler, let it turn for four to six hours. Once it turns on the tumbler for four to six hours, once it turns on the tumbler for four to six hours, then I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray it with Rust-Oleum Clear Coat. I'm gonna spray it really good with a coat or two of Rust-Oleum Clear Coat. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes in between the spray, spray it again with Rust-Oleum Clear Coat. What that's gonna do is, it's gonna set this um, glitter, set any loose glitter that you have, and that way when we get ready to put our epoxy on, none of the red will move down into the white, the white will stay white, and none of the white will move down into the red. Okay? Does anybody uh, have any questions or, or anything that you wanna, you know, say? Anybody? How many people in here actually have made, how many, I don't know how many people we have on. Let me look and see. Um, how many people do we actually have on that have actually made their first tumbler? Do we have anybody in here that has actually made their first tumbler? So what do you think, guys? What, okay, we nobody's saying anything. Do you? What do you think about the colors? Do you think those? Is anybody in here a a, a Delta? <laughs> First of all, let me ask that. Is anybody in here a Delta? Can you please show us the can? Okay, which can would you like to see? The spray can that I, the clear coat spray can? Is that the can you want to see? I'm late. I will watch it and get back to you with questions. I have bought a machine, but have yet to make a cup. Oh, the Rust-Oleum can? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I've got one down here. This is the can for, this is the can, the Rust-Oleum two times clear coat. You can get the gloss or you can get the matte. It doesn't matter. Sometimes it just, sometimes I get the matte, sometimes I get the gloss. This, when you spray it, it is clear and it's gonna go over your cup and it's gonna seal in these colors. So this white won't move or this red won't move. How did you make the homemade tumbler turner? Um, there was a lady on YouTube, and I just, it, she was an African-American lady. She shared how she made hers. I bought the wood from, I went to Lowe's. I bought the wood from Lowe's. It is a one by, it's a one by six. I bought the eight foot one. Out of the eight foot one, you can make three turners. Um, I had them to cut the wood for me at Lowe's. And then I just bought the turner off Amazon. It is a microwave turner. They say, you know, they, they say that you're not supposed to use them, but this one has done fine. And I've been using these for about a year and I haven't had a problem. I do, you know, watch them and make sure they're okay. Um, this is PVC pipe. This white part right here is just PVC pipe. Um, under here, as a support, I bought the little 
uh, doorknob things. When you close your kitchen cabinets, those little roller things in the inside, are in, in the inside there, um, that's what is just giving it a little bit of support right here. And I will put, I'm pretty sure I have it in my YouTube uh, channel. I will put a link to her video um, if it's permissible. I don't know if it's permissible or not. Uh, if not, I will, I'll share it. You can, you can uh, message me and I'll share the video that way. I don't know if the, um, if the admins let you do that. I have to go back and look at the rules, I think. I don't know if they let you share stuff like that, but I will, if you really want to um, see her YouTube for making this. Guys, I made one of these in probably about 40 minutes. And I used wood glue, some screws. Oh, and I, the one thing I did have to buy that I didn't have, I had a drill. You buy uh, this little thing, and I'll, I'll have to get it for you later, but it's, a, it's about this long. You put it in your drill, you put it down, it drills a hole through the wood. And I, uh, that's how I put the hole in for these right here. Ooh, that's gonna be fun, trying to clean up all this glitter that I spilled over here, guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so do we have any more questions about this? Because if we don't, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you number one, one that I did last night. And I'm gonna show you how, when I put the epoxy on it, the Little Lee and Rose epoxy, what it looks like. If you guys, do you guys wanna see that? You wanna see what that one looks like? And then I'm gonna do another quick little project for us if you have time. And I wanna show you something that's real fun. While I have um, while I have this extra epoxy sitting here, let's see. How much do you spend on your tumblers? How much do I spend on my tumblers? You mean the actual cup? Is that what you're asking me? How much do you spend on your tumbler? Oh, well, if it's a double wall tumbler. I have been getting, I've ordered some hogs, so I get the hogs, but I, I also went to Walmart, and Walmart, let me show you this, okay, let me show you this, this is, I, guys, I actually practiced, let me show, okay, let me do this, see this right here, I'm getting ready, this is a Dollar Tree wine glass, it's, it's a glass, this is red that I put on here, and I'm going to be doing a, um, a peekaboo over this. But this is how I practice. And when I want to try something new, this is what I do. I use these wine glasses. Um, this is one, I, you can tell I like the color red. This is one that I did and I used a chunky and a fine red glitter. Um, and that was for a giant's uh, god. This is a, what do you call this? Um, <laughs> guys, he, I, you know, um, this is a, give me a minute. I'll think of what it is and I can tell you. But this also has the chunky glitter on it. And I'm gonna put this on his glass right here and put the giants on it. I'm telling you, I practice on dollar store stuff, okay? Look at this one. This is a Louis Vuitton one. Didn't that turn out pretty? And it's just a wine glass. I'm gonna do a full tumbler like this. A coaster, a tile. Thank you, now I got it. This is a tile. <laughs> yes, a tile. And I actually just, did it the same way that I did the glass with the epoxy. This is um, 651 vinyl. And then I put um, just uh, something on the back to cover it. You guys are making me try to think and talk at the same time. And it's not working for me because I, don't, I can't think and talk at the same time. But I do want to show, I do want to show you one that I did last night. And it is really pretty, guys. Hold on. Let me clean up some of this mess. Guys, 
I promise you, I will get better at this. I promise you. Y'all don't know, my kids are upstairs laughing at me. They're like, you are so composed when you do your YouTubes. Because I do, I do YouTubes with a lot of things. And um, I also make um, mini albums. And so when I do those and I do my YouTubes, I'm, I'm really composed. But, you know, you can go back and you can bleep out stuff and stuff like that. Okay, let's see. Did you spray paint the wine glass first? Yes, I did. I did the same way. The only thing you don't have to do is you don't have to sand it down. You don't have to sand it down. But I also, let me see if I've got another one up here that I did so I can show you. Oh, this is also from, this is also from the Dollar Tree. This is one of their coffee cups. And um, I practice on these also because of the shape. So I taped it down with the um, electrical tape, the top and the top here. And then this was the metal part in here. So I sanded it a little bit. Then I went outside and I spray painted it using this to hold it with. And I'm gonna practice uh, something new on this. I don't know what I'm gonna practice on this yet, but I'm gonna practice something new on this. All right, so. Let me show you this. This is how that um, epoxy, the little Lee and Rose, epoxy came out guys it is as smooth as glass this is three different colors this is an ombre which is what we're doing right here tonight but this is a three different color ombre this is pink this is a lighter shade of pink and then like a white in here and i did the lighter shade of pink then i did the darker shade of pink then i put the white in the middle what is your youtube channel name um you can just look up bonnie b-o-n-n-i-e gill g-i-l-l Okay, this is really pretty, and I'm um, hopefully I can show you, um, I can show you on here how I go to put a water slide, or um, I think on this one I'm going to do this one is a, a gift for my sister. I'm going to use Heat HTV and put her name on here. So hopefully we can do that, and you can see it. Let me show you. All right. This is another one I have in the works, guys. This is a chunky, medium chunky glitter. And the white is not white, white like that one right there. This one is an iridescent white. Have you made your investment money back? It depends on um, probably if I stop buying glitter. If I stop buying glitter, uh, I probably would. But I like glitter and I like to craft. So I do a lot of different crafts. Um, I make mini albums, I make, um, I do t-shirts, I do um, a lot of different crafts. Now, with this, I probably, I have made enough money to cover some of my glitters. Uh, the epoxy, I buy about a gallon, so that's like $150 for the ones that are not uh, from Michaels, because that one you can get with a coupon. So you can, you can get like a gallon or a half gallon for like 50 bucks, but it's not as good an epoxy as the other two that I, I shared with you earlier. Um, I've done trays. Now, I, guys, I made a lot of money with doing the trays, but let me tell you, when you do the trays, and I have a dot .com, um, my dot .com is scrapalettadesigns.com when you do a dot com and when you do facebook uh and you want to boost your stuff in facebook if you have trays on there they will not do it they they will not boost them and it has really irked me 
Um, I've got a lot of, I got a lot of sales off Instagram. And right now I'm doing some TikTok stuff. So that's a catch 22. We keep buying stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I can say that I have made quite a, I've made quite a bit of money. And probably if I stopped buying, I probably could. Um, but I like glitter. So what else was I going to show you? Oh, I know. Okay, so I want to show you this. I want to clean up this area right here for a second, guys. I got to clean it up. I can't take it. So let me just get this cleaned up and I'm going to, we're going to do a little project. put this aside because I'll clean that a little up later. I am going to have glitter everywhere. All right. All right. So as I was telling you, I made extra I made extra um epoxy and this is a mold and it's a coaster mold i'm trying to get that out <laughs> it's a coaster mold so i'm going to take some alcohol inks I'm gonna take some alcohol links and I'm gonna take the rest of this epoxy. Look at that, no bubbles in that epoxy. And that's what you want. You do not want any bubbles in your epoxy. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna get I'm going to use a little bit of ice queen and I'm going to pour it, pour it into my epoxy. The only reason I'm using just a little bit of this is because I just want it to, I just want it to um, have a little bit of sparkle. Now my epoxy is getting a little warm and a little thick, which is my fault because I let it sit over there too long. I'm gonna set that right there for a second. Now, I'm going to use some alcohol inks to find some color. These are Tim Holtz alcohol inks. I'm only gonna take a drop. Put a drop here. This is Mermaid. Um, let's see what color this is. This is watermelon. How do you prevent the bubbles? Um, this epoxy is very good in that it um, it doesn't have a lot of bubbles. And the one thing you do is you're supposed to stir it very, very slowly. You can use a wooden skewer or a wooden um, one of these, but this also puts air bubbles in there. These I got from the makeup section. Now, a lot of the, the glitter places sell them to you, but I got these from the dollar store out of the makeup section. The, you just pop the epoxy right off of it if it dries on there. This does, not, this does not make a lot of bubbles, but you have to stir really, really, really slowly. I also got these. Now, I ordered these online. These are epoxy stirrers, and this is a metal one, so you have to clean this off. But they leave less bubbles and you and you need to stir really slowly. Alright, let me see if I can get a yellow. Let's see if I got a yellow. That's Dijon. Dijon is yellow. Let's see. Let's put a little yellow in there. And let's get some orange. 
color is this? Oh, this is honeycomb. Let's see what honeycomb does. Let's put a sprinkle of honeycomb on there. What other color do we have in here? This is ember. Did we use this? No, I don't think so. Let's see. We need a bright color. That looks like that color that we just used. We have a bright color. Let's see. It's enchanted. I don't think I have an orange. Let's see what I got in this box. Let's see what I got in this box. This is what I keep my alcohol links in, guys. So these are some pinata colors. Oh, there's a bright yellow. Let's shake it up. It's a bright yellow. Let's see how this does. If I can get it open. My hands are sticky. Oh, okay. Let's put it right there. All right. Let's see what this does. Let's see how this looks. If it'll pour, I'm going to pour it right on there. pretty. I think if my, my epoxy was beginning to thicken up, I think if my epoxy had not started to thicken up, it would have, it was a little bit thinner. It would have run a little bit easier. So let's let's um, stir it. Get it down in there. This is gonna be my base. It's gonna be my base for my coaster. Let me see. Is that Marine Pro? No. I'm um, trying to see. I can never get rid of the... Okay. Oh, for the bubbles, if you want to get rid of a little bit of the bubbles, um, this is... Let me unplug it right here. This is an epoxy warmer. You can order them online. They're like five between five and seven dollars sometimes i just take it in these cups that i got from walmart sit it on there for like three or four minutes and let it heat up um that will take the bubbles out also if you use um uh, a heat gun not a heat gun excuse me of course nothing wants to work now that i'm doing it online um what did I do to my... Guys, I think I have actually epoxied my gun shut. My torch. I think I've epoxied my torch. And it won't it won't close up. Now I'm going to have to order another one. But you can use a torch on there. Um, this epoxy warmer, if you set your epoxy on there, it just plugs in like to where your um, phone plugs in plug that in set your cup up there with your epoxy on it for about three minutes it warms up the thicker part of the epoxy and makes it flow and also takes the bubbles out all right so let's see what this is doing yeah i let it i let my epoxy sit over there while i was talking to you guys a little bit too long that's a big bubble right there okay now for this, when you're using these, you don't want to use your torch. And that's just a regular food torch. You don't want to use your torch to pop any of the bubbles. So what I do is 
and just clean this up. Ah! And see, that's why I'm supposed to have gloves on, guys. And I don't. So, I'm going to pay for that. Okay. Take a regular lighter and just go over it. That helps pop the bubbles. You don't want to get it too close to uh, your mold. Let's see how that comes out. <laughs> Let's look at that when we see it tomorrow night and see how that comes out. Okay, are there any other questions? Okay. Let me see. Um, which epoxy do you use? I apologize if you already answered. I just started watching. I hope I answered that. The epoxy I'm using right now is Little Lee and Rose. But I also use KS resin and depending on what I'm making, like I also do the big folding tables for people who want them personalized. With that, I start out with the um, Envirotex light because it's cheap. I mix a little blue and into it so that it won't yellow, but the final coat I put on it is, is either KS resin or um, Little Lee and Little Lee and Rose um, because it has UV protecting in it which will keep it from yellowing much longer. All right. Any other questions? Well, we can see how this comes out tomorrow. It will probably take longer than just one day for it to totally set, but we can see how it comes out. We, um, as I said, on my cup over here, what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna let it spin for about four hours. Let me put my timer on while I'm thinking about that. In about six hours, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna spray it with the clear coat. And then I will wait until tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll put another coat of, we'll put another coat of epoxy on this. Um, and then we'll let that dry. I will have, if you wanna come back tomorrow um, night at about seven o'clock, um, was tomorrow night tomorrow's thursday night yeah if you want to come back tomorrow night at about um seven o'clock we'll put a we'll put the other coat of epoxy on this we'll see how this coaster turns out we will work on the i'll show you how the um pink one i'll i'll have the decals ready to go on the pink one and um if there is anything else that you guys would like to see um, I need practice at doing this. So if uh, I need practice like doing the lives. So if there's anything else that you guys want to see, if you message me or put it in the messages, um, we can work on it together. I would love to have some of you guys um, doing some stuff as as we work on it. But if you want to go back and and start yours tonight, look back up in the messages and get um, what the directions were to start. Let me see. I think somebody just put up something. Let's see what they said. Um, when will when will the replay be available? I just turned in also I tried to find the epoxy on Amazon with no luck. Okay, so if you can't find it on Amazon, go to little L I T T L E Lee L E E and Rose. Her website. Go to her website. And when you go to her website, um, the epoxy warmer is on there. I buy a lot of stuff from her. I buy um, some glitters from her. I buy um, the epoxy. I buy the, this from her. Um, and um, I got a white one from Amazon. The white one I got from Amazon, though, gets really hot. And it gets really hot too fast. So this one, it doesn't get that hot. I can actually touch it when it gets hot. It's, it's just warm. Um, she also sells the, she also sells the mixers. Um, and, and I get nothing from, from, 
uh, guys from telling you that that you can buy this stuff from her or you can buy it on Amazon I don't have any affiliates with anybody I'm just showing you stuff that I use um, and stuff that I've made oh I know what I was gonna show you somebody asked me about the tumbler I am so sorry tonight guys I really am not the scatterbrain um, I work a full-time job I am a vice principal at a high school and right now we've been going back to work this week and it has been totally horrible the kids are not coming back. Um, the teachers are not coming back, but they expect the administrators to be there in a building that had COVID in it and supposedly they've cleaned everything. So, you know, I'm not really happy about that. But let me show you, um, I was gonna show you the tumblers. Now, um, Okay. Let me move this because, you know, I am kind of klutzy and I will be, let me pull that up so you guys can really get a good look at it. I think if, I think if I had not let my epoxy sit so long and it would have just ran and it would have ran. And what should have been those those colors that I put in there with alcohol ink should have just spread it out like this and been really, really pretty. Um, I think I put a little bit too much of the dark in there, but we'll see and maybe tomorrow night we'll, we'll put another one on. Now, the one good thing about having moles, guys, is that when you make a lot of epoxy, you can take any little bit of extra epoxy you've got and put it in a mold and make some different things like this. This is a straw topper and some mermaid tail. I had extra epoxy, so I made the straw topper to go on the straw, to go on one of my cups that I'm making, uh, a mermaid cup for a young lady. Okay, so someone asked me about my cups. This is a hog cup right here. And this is, I believe, uh, the 20 ounce, no, this is the 30 ounce skinny. I try to find the best deal, whoever puts them on sale. This is a 30 ounce skinny. I work um, with this one, but I wanted to show you the good deal I got with these right here. I went to Walmart and Ozark Trail makes a good tumbler. This is a double box. When they first came out, they were, when they first, first came out, they were like, 17 somewhere between 17 and 20 dollars for the two walmart if you can find them in your clear in your um if you can find them in your walmart right now you get two of these for ten dollars so that makes them five dollars a piece all you got to do sand them down a little bit spray paint them let me see if i've got one that's open yep i do see this was one of the ones in there. Go to Walmart, find you a nice tumbler in Walmart, Ozark Trail ones. These I find a lot in the camping section. That's where these are. People love these because they're big, they're sturdy, they're 30 ounces, they hold a lot and they stay cold. Um, let's see. When will the replay be available? I just turned in. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out, I think at the end of this, when I hit finish, I think it it goes up right then. Um, if anybody knows more about doing lives than I do. <laughs> so I hope that it, it I hope it records. I kind of did like three, I tried to do like a little practice one beforehand to see what it would do. But um, so I think, after we finish here and I just hit finish, I think that will be it. All right. Uh, all right. So, guys, if there's nothing else, if you come back tomorrow night at 7, we will do the next steps. Okay? Thank you guys for being with me. Thank you for um, giving me this experience. I love it. I like, I like doing this. I just got to get it. I just got to get a little bit more comfortable with it. But thanks a lot, and I'll see you tomorrow night around 7. Okay, good night.
this around. Okay, good night guys. See you tomorrow night if you can, if you can make it. <laughs>